In this video, we're going to be testing out these, the Merrill MTL Skyfire 2. Mountain Racing HQ here at 40 Runs in Broxbourne, where the mountains are high and the trails are fast. I might be making some of that up. Anyway, right, so here we go with the Skyfire 2, which, by the way, I've just realised is written on there. Now, these were sent to me by the guys at Merrill, so thank you very much. Uh, I'm not getting paid for this review, and as always, I'm going to say anything I like. Okay, so big warning before we get into the rest of this video, right? This shoe does not fit me. This shoe is a UK 9.5, and, and it does not fit true to size. You need to know that before we carry on with the rest of the video. This is UK 9.5 and, and it doesn't fit true to size. I think you need to go at least the size up in this, okay, for it to fit. But I've got some good news. And that is, young Simon fits into these lovely. Now, before we get over to Simon, because he's had these for a few weeks now and he's been playing about with them. Because since marathon training's finished, uh, both of us have been spending more time in the trails and he's loving these. Okay, but let's do stats and features first. Uh, so, uh, get ready for it. The price, £170 here in the UK. Uh, we've got a TPU upper, uh, which is about uh, a uh, abrasion resistant durable upper, adds a little bit of protection. Uh, we've got a dual density float pro foam midsole. There's some uh, flex plate technology in there, which is there to add some torsion uh, and rigidity. Uh, system into the uh, shoe. We've got EVA footbed to add some comfort. We've got the Vibram uh, Mega Grip rubber outsole. Uh, we've got a rock plate. We've got 25mm uh, stack in the heel, which has got a 6mm drop overall. We've got 5mm lugs. It is as light as anything. It's 204 grams. Uh, UK 9.5 doesn't fit true to size. Okay, right, so this is a super quick mountain racing machine, all right? And for me, this feels, um, or sort of fits, sorry, into that Catamount 2 area for me. Uh, I like a quick trail shoe, uh, Tecton X, uh, Tecton X2 uh, is obviously out. Uh, and it was perfect, actually, to give these to Simon because he doesn't have that shoe in his rotation. He has a traditional boring pair of trail shoes. So unlike me, who has the Tecton X and the Catamount 2, which I really like, uh, he was super excited to be given these. Okay, so we're gonna catch up with Simon at the end of a trail run. Um, we've got, um, what is it? I think it's six miles today. So we're gonna catch up with Simon at the end of that run, and we're gonna let you know how he's been getting on with it, what he thinks about the shoe, and yeah, so we better head over there. Right, so I'm here with a big man himself, and how you been getting on with them? I've been enjoying them, I've, 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 what I've liked about them, I've been, not marathon training at all. No, 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 no. Moment, and I wanted to get a trail shoe which I can take up the trails, but ain't it's not like a hardcore trail shoe. It's nice and light, bit snappy, bit speedy, and this is this has been really a bit, good. A bit like my catamount too. So yeah. the, the the thing is, right? We was we obviously been doing a bit of trail running now because we're not marathon training. So I've had my Brooks catamount too. You've had your you've had your trail shoes, but it, the ground's firmer now. You can run a bit quicker through there. We ain't had that rain where we ain't got nah, all the mud. Nah, you ain't got all the mud, so you you can run or something a bit quicker, and that was the thing. And like I said at the start, the sizing for me on this shoe was the biggest issue, the fact that it's not a, a UK 9.5. You're usually an 8.5, aren't you? And, and to be honest, yeah. this is a little bit... It's not, it's not too small, but no. it wouldn't want to be any smaller. Yeah, that, that, is the, that is the thing with it. The size is a bit out. So like I said at the start, you've really got to watch the sizing. But so in terms of, in terms of speed, because the shoe is built for speed, What's your overall feeling about the speed? Does it carry speed? Does it feel fast? Because obviously you've got the plate in there, right? It, it definitely, fit for a trail shoe, for me, yeah. it's feeling fast. You're nipping along, then next thing you go, oh, God, this shoe's fast. Look down at the wash, and, and it is fast, really, for being yeah, up yeah. on the trails. Yeah. Um, I think the plate is, is, is helping you. It's giving you that snap. Yeah. And where they're just so, so light, and yeah. there's literally nothing of the upper, yeah. it's just a great, fast, it's a fast breathable shoe. Breathable yeah, trail breathable. shoe to go through. It is proper quick though. No, it? That's, I mean, we was out there mucking about the other day and he was flying. I mean, literally flying through the trails. It, it's good fun though, isn't it? It's a good shoe. I would say, yeah. I don't know how good they'd be if it was muddy. Yeah, like thick mud, thick greasy. Mud, greasy trails, wet, rainy, because you would have no protection on your feet. Yeah. 
and also yeah that's a point sorry uh, in terms of the lumps and bumps right so with a trail shoe i like a bit of cushion on my trail yeah. shoe. that's why i like jeruko max too yes if i'm gunning it i'd, I'd wear the catamount 2 or the tectin like i used to have but what are they being like underfoot so underfoot i would say at the moment this time of year they're fine they're yeah. good on the some firmer trails in the woods and that way you're starting to feel things underneath your foot where there's not much cushioning but yeah. they're okay you i don't know if you'd want to go too long in them yeah, like yeah, real yeah. long distance yeah, in the yeah. trail but they're doing okay to be honest so for like a like we did the other day quick quick six mile blast oh yeah great yeah great fun yeah and and like as you said down the canal and tow pass, which on the sections that are, are a bit lumpy so i've been going if the trail's not right by my house yeah. i've been running from my house a little bit of tarmac yeah down on the canal tow path then taking it off into the trail a bit yeah, yeah. then coming back you can do that yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. a problem because it's so light and fast you can nip along there you're not like oh this is sucking me into the floor okay two last things one what's that foam like because it looks firm it, it is quite firm yeah but there's not much of it so there's not much of it that. and i think the reason it's firm but there's not much of a drop either so yeah, you're okay. not, you haven't got that but it's, okay it's good. all right and the last thing which i think is the most important thing would you recommend because obviously a little bit different would you recommend them to somebody who is looking for a quick uh sort of trail shoe but as an everyday runner yeah i think if you want a quick trail shoe as an everyday runner that different. you don't just run trails all the time you just want to have a bit of fun in for a few weeks yeah, yeah. use it put it back in the cupboard get it out again when you need it yeah, it's yeah. going to last you forever yeah you know yeah because yeah, you're, you're not going to be doing it. massive miles not massive miles it. and i'm not going to go and run it when it's no, 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 no. You, you'd put your normal trail, trail shoes shoe. on. Exactly, yeah. yeah, so they're not like a hardcore trail shoe, people. No. They're a fast plated shoe. I think they're probably even more sort of set up for speed than, than the Catamount 2. I think they, they are really hardcore shoes. I think they look awesome, by the way. Yeah, they are. They're, and they, they're really comfortable. Good support as well. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing as well, because you do pronate a bit. Yeah. Then you've got no issues with it. No. And once you get your sizing right, yes. it's okay, yeah? Fine, not a problem. So there we go. Yeah, so one thing, yeah, go on, yeah. quite slim. Ah, so not for wide feet? Definitely not. So I'm not wide foot anyway. Yeah, but you can tell. I can tell. Actually, you can they, see. They look now, even look. here. Look, even here. They are slim, definitely slim. But they, they are breathable though. The upper, oh, the well, uppers look nice. Yeah, they're well breathable. They're lovely and breathable. Do you know what I mean? And the outsole's pretty good on yeah, it. Yeah, so it's great. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wicked. Yeah, look, I think I've got it. I mean, it's just naughty tread on there as well. Oh, look, it's great tread. Yeah, I mean, this is a sort of perfect. It's great, it's dusty, hard. Ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like those. Yeah, it's just like yeah, it's like those compacted down trails that we run. Because yeah. again, we where we live around here, people, it's not like mountains and things like that, right? It's forest, it's canal paths, it's grassy paths. It's not running through like the, the trail quarry. Thing. No, no, exactly. Like we're not doing any of that. So this is, you know, we want something that's going to hang on when we get after it. Yeah. Give you that confidence to go fast, but at the same time, which they are, be light and feel like feel like they definitely feel like yeah okay right that's it okay say bye boys bye boys right that's it for me we'll catch you later